My name is John Bolly. I started with APS in 1955 and I worked at the company until 1993, which was 38 years. Hi, my name is uh, Drew Sheehan. I am a journeyman lineman down at 501 currently. Started in 2003. I've been here for 14 years and I started out as a tree trimmer. Both my grandpas worked here in the 50s. My dad worked here. He started out as a car washer in the 70s. And sure enough, he's still here working. Uh, been here for 40, 44? 45 oh years and well, still it, working as an inspector. Yeah, and I, I, I knew your dad, and then you, you mentioned that your one grandfather was uh, Frank Hefner. I was on Frank Hefner's crew as a second year apprentice when we built the first 12 kV line with temporary power into when they were building the Okatia power plant. When I was in fourth grade, 10 years old in fourth grade uh, is career day and I took all my dad's climbing tools and he took the spikes off so I could wear them safely at school, but I went as a lineman uh, to, to career day. Hearing about those stories, how well it, it uh, took care of my family financially, um, such a community, all the friends and whatnot around, uh, around the family. I, I pretty much knew since I was a small kid that this is what I wanted to do. It was the late 50s before we had any lift equipment to speak of. So everything you did, you climbed poles. And this, this, is, this is a picture of when we were working on a, a line up in northern Arizona. It was my last year of apprenticeship. So as you can see, the journeyman did this and the apprentice started here and went up to here. And uh, he did the climbing. He wasn't allowed to ride in the bucket very often. And then he'd walk across the top and do that side and climb down the other. And did that, I didn't do the whole 53 miles, but I probably did about 45 of them. That's incredible. So uh, most all that equipment that we had when, when I was working was made by the weld shop in the company. And they were <laughs> extremely good with, with coming up with innovative ideas on uh, how to make stringing equipment and stuff like that. And it was all pretty much homemade climbing tools. They haven't changed much. They really haven't. The pouches, the climbing tools. In fact, I actually still to this day use my dad's climbers that he gave to me 14 years ago when I started in tree trimming. Okay. Most of the equipment, I mean, they're small advances. They, they've made it a lot lighter. Some of the equipment has become lighter. Everything else, on the other hand, now it comes with a battery. You name it, it comes with a battery, whether it's a drill, um, presses, instead of the old pop tool, now we have the uh, uh, hydraulic <laughs> uh, presses powered by a battery. So, uh, not to brag, I don't, no, I don't, no, don't I, be I, mad. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. I think it's absolutely and, wonderful uh, to, that they've uh, done all that. I still have my tools hanging in the garage. Nice, excellent, yeah. excellent. I got those in 1957. Whew. <laughs> Seen some miles, I bet, too. I, Yeah, but I'm sure the leather isn't very good anymore. No. <laughs> it's pretty rotten, pretty rotten. I enjoyed my years working on a crew, and then uh, when I got into management, I really enjoyed what I was doing in there. The whole thing was very rewarding. The, the company had a lot of good people, and, and I think that's what I miss most is, is the, good, the good people that I worked with. 